And oh, from a stadium with a reputation for producing one of the liveliest atmospheres in the English game, we're in South London at Selhurst Park. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Crystal Palace facing Manchester City. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Well, Wilfried Zaha, often described as a bit of a one-off, a real talent, and no two ways about that, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him today? Well, his recent form speaks for itself. Three goals in the last three games, and he's playing with great confidence at the moment. Every chance he could add to that tally today. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson is the goalkeeper. Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Rodri in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And the contest begins. Foden. Well timed tackle. Promising possession, this. Well, he likes to run at them. Timely intervention. Kevin De Bruyne. Sterling. Good tackle, take it away. Oh, a lovely ball. And a poor ball. Walker. Kevin De Bruyne. Walker now. Sterling takes it forward and the flag raised offside it is Schlup and since they have the ball a referee playing advantage here now they've lost it. Bernardo Silva. Here's Grealish. And a strong tackle. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Joao Cancelo. And Grealish, and Palace with possession again here. Now a potentially dangerous position for City. Foden. It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Will Hughes. And a long way out. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper.
Who can they pick out? Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Nicely timed tackle. Unable to keep the ball that time. Palace now in potentially a dangerous position. Well, he's given it away. Bernardo Silva. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. Joao Cancelo. He's enjoying space. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Well, I still don't know how he kept that out, Derek. It's a fantastic save to keep it all square. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Just made sure nothing came of that. Excellent first touch under the circumstances there. Wilfried Zaha. The ball with Jordan Ayew. Promising attack, this. And possibilities here. And a tidy challenge. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? Wonderful chance. Oh, a clinical counter-attack. And so close to a goal. Well, that's exactly what they're looking to do. Force the turnover and then break at pace. So close to a very good goal. Went in strongly, decisively. Well, those stats tell you everything. A tight and cagey game without enough goal mouth action. Both teams need to get more players forward if they're to pose a real threat. Foden. And the keeper got there. Who's going to get on the end of it? It comes to nothing in the end. Rodri. And Bernardo Silva has it. Excellent challenge. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. The first half here comes to an end. Well, truth be told, he's only had a very limited influence on this game, Stuart. Yeah, you're right. He's looked a bit lethargic today. I'd like to see him demanding the ball more, working the defenders harder, and unless he does that, I can't see him affecting the scoreline here. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. <laughs> Read it magnificently and intercepted. Given away again. He's in behind. Save, but still a chance. Oh dear, oh dear. The goal was at his mercy. Tame effort. Grealish. It's a good looking ball in behind. Grealish. Still could be dangerous. 
In it goes at the second time of asking, but the goalkeeper won't be proud of that moment. Well, as you can see, it's an error from the goalkeeper. You just can't spill it into a dangerous area like that. get the game restarted disappointed to have conceded now can they come up with a quick response and it's won by Emerick Laporte Grealish now with Silva now a potentially dangerous position for Sissi Jack Grealish Well, that effort was always going wide. He's not going to be best pleased with himself. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Jeffrey Schlup. Thank you. Mitchell. Attacking possibilities for Palace. And let's give credit to the defending. Room to roam for City on the wing. Bernardo Silva. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. And the short option preferred. He got nothing but ball. He's conceded the corner. to deliver it accurately well not quite the corner he had in mind goalkeeper has it well they must exercise caution standing off as they are Foden Ronaldo Silva it did look on for them but not to be that's a foul and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. No way through. Preferring to go infield. Perfect tackle. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Well, the fans are driving their team on here, but can they respond with a goal? Time is running out. And will it be the leveller? Capable of so much better from that position. Excellent defending. Zaha. And a very good challenge. Well, on the cusp of full time, the home side keep plugging away but find themselves on the wrong end of the score. Well, with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Substitution for Crystal Palace coming off the pitch. Here it is now, a substitution. Well, 
Rodri. Mares! Wasted chance. Easy for the goalkeeper. And a fine tackle. De Bruyne. This could be it. And it is. He's done it. Surely a case of game over. Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post cover for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. Well, a second goal for them here. Joao Cancelo, Phil Foden now, the tackle completely mistimed and you would expect a booking under the circumstances, but I think he knew that was coming, yellow card it is. Well that was always going to happen, he needs to control himself now otherwise it could get worse. He plays it short. And Sterling has it. Sterling. There's the goal. Surely now that is that. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. takes command and relief as the keeper holds on well he reacts so quickly doesn't he that's a great bit of work from him Mares Rondo and that is going to be a free kick change in the offing for City they've given him too much space but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending well at the moment they just can't get near the ball and you can fully understand the crowd's reaction they expect much more from their team they're racing away here and that will be all a disappointing day at the office for Crystal Palace Stuart where did it go wrong you're absolutely right, Derek. While the result is poor, the display was even worse. They never got to grips with the opposition. They were second best in every facet of the game. They need to do a lot of improving before the next time out. And a good night's work for Raheem Sterling. What in particular did you see from Sterling in this game? Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for?